8 tune. So this, uh, in this meter, you have six beats per measure, and the eighth note gets the beat. So if you look at the time signature on your sheet music, you'll see the top number says six, the bottom number says eight. Six beats per measure, the eighth note, one eighth, gets the beat. Okay, top number is how many beats per measure, bottom number is what rhythm gets the beat. So we have uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, six for our meter. Um, let's take this one a little bit slow. Dun, 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 dun. One, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five. tricky thing in the second measure um, um, during the first line and then in measure eight on the second line we have this long down bow you can look at the second measure we have this long down bow followed by this tiny little eighth note up bow so what I actually do here is I do a lift to get back down to towards the frog. So I'm doing a long down bow. I'm lifting, but instead of doing another down bow, I'm actually lifting to do a short up bow. It's very specific. And sometimes you have to do uh, these very specific actions in order for it to actually work musically. Otherwise, we're doing a lot of hooked bows. Down, down, up, up, down, down, up. You'll find this a lot in 6-8 music where you have a big two sort of feel. Dun, 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 dun. One, two, three, four, five, six. Down, two, three, up, two, three, down, two, down, up, up, down, down, up, up. Because if it really was meant to be felt as a big three, you would just notate it in three, four. Dun, 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 dun. One, two, three, one, two, three. Versus one, two, three, four, five, six. There's a big two in 6-8, so we get a lot of hooked bowing. You notice how I do little, just little micro pauses to stop the bow right before the, the hooked bow. So down, stop, down, up, stop, up, down, stop, down, up, stop, up. Hard to say. Okay, but for the second measure, lift, up, down, lift, up. It's pretty tricky, but you might need to spend some time only working on that measure for a while before you can plug it back into the rest of the piece. Okay, this song should go a little faster, so let's try it faster. Dun, dun, bum, bum, right in the dumb, one, two, four, five, six. That's pretty quick. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three. Here we go. Okay, I think the main trick to this piece is practicing hooked bowings down, down, up, up, down, down, up, up. Practicing that lift, that very special lift that happens in the second measure and in the eighth measure, where we do a long down bow and then lift to do a short up bow near the frog. Um, and to just feel fluid at, in a faster six, eight time. Focus on the big two swinging feel when you're playing through this. Da, 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 da.
okay? And don't worry about too much stopping and separation for your hook bows. It's okay for it to flow just as long as there's enough separation with to tell that it's a new rhythm. That is a great, that first measure, again, it's a, a lot of times a first measure we have great material to work with. If you just practice the scale with the rhythm and the bowing from the first measure before you play the piece, that will be really helpful. try it slower at home. Um, you can pause the video, just try it a little slower, and then um, move on to working on the melody. Mm -hmm. 